hi guys and welcome back to my channel to my returning subscribers you know i got so much love for you from the very depth of my heart and if today is your first time of seeing this lovely beautiful face you are highly welcome this is for the babes diaries and you are welcome please don't forget to like this video subscribe and also um share to your loved ones your friends your family because um i i believe what i want to talk about in this video is going to uh, is like a food for thoughts for everyone every single one of us i actually wanted to talk about something different today uh but something happened on our street um we lost one of the people um who or used to live on our street but I don't know how to describe the this man you know he was one of the people living in one of the uncompleted buildings in on our street before but um i think when the owner of the building wanted to uh, finish his building he asked him to leave so but then he still comes into the estate uh, on a daily basis so up until yesterday i still saw him um only for me to hear the uh, very sad news this morning that he passed on why am i making this video you may want to ask uh, i'm not making this video to probably spite the person that passed on but i believe i'm making this video just for us all every one of us to be able to have a reflection on our lives there's a saying that goes tomorrow is not promised if i that kept coming to my mind today immediately i was told about the demise of that man this was somebody i saw yesterday evening um and that was what actually made me cry because i i kept reflecting i kept thinking oh so by this time yesterday this man would never have thought that it would become an history in 24 hours and that is life for every one of us do you get um i i kept on thinking about it because um it has taught me it has taught me a lot of lessons not lessons that i've not heard about before but you know just reflection it brings about uh, me thinking about life generally and um, okay l let me give you a backstory as at last week I can't even remember which day that was in last week I passed in front of this man because there's a spot where he sits with his uh, other friends he was physically challenged so he uses uh, crutches to um, move around you get so um last week i passed in front of him on my way to my friend's house and he called me he's just he told me that ah, if he told me something now nah, that would i believe out and i was like oh what's that and he said uh, would i believe that it doesn't have what to eat presently that do i have food or maybe give him something and i said okay that but i'm not holding money presently i was going to visit my friend on the same street and I said, okay, don't worry, I will do something for you. So, but when I got to my friend's place, I didn't really, I was not really settled within my spirit. So I called our security guy. I said, okay, do you have a certain amount of money? He said, yes. I said, please give it to this man. I will refund you as I'm coming back. So as I got back to the compound, I refunded our security man. But yesterday again, I was going to my friend's place and I just turned to, you know, greet them where they normally sit they were they always plenty there so it immediately saw me it was like hey you know it was like you know the greeting was kind of ex of, it was uh kind of um that of excitement uh, well i just i said well maybe he was trying to be appreciative of the little token i gave him that the other day uh not knowing that that was the last time i was going to see him because Coming back from my friend's place, I I didn't even look at that side again because I was pressing my phone when I passed the, um, in front of them yesterday. Only for me to hear this news this morning, I cried because the the facial expression I saw yesterday when he was greeting me kept coming back to me. I spoke with somebody uh, around that area and he said that he was still there up to like maybe past 9 p.m. 
yesterday night. In fact, that has really, it, it, that sad news really affected my day. I was shooting some videos in the morning. I had to do, I couldn't continue. Like, you know, we just, so I just want all of us to reflect on our lives now. If today were to be your last day on earth, where would you spend your eternity? Because that is a very, very, very important question that you and I, we need to think deeply about. Where are you planning to spend your eternity? I, I am so sure that this man would not even have... If somebody had told him that by this time yesterday that in the next 24 hours you're going to become an history, he would have rebuked it. But then life happened. Faith happened. Where are you planning to spend your eternity? This can happen to anybody at any time. Fine, we always pray for long life. We all pray for uh, go good health. We all pray for good things of life. But please think deeply on this. That's number one lesson that I got from this. Or I, I, I relearned from this incident. The second um, lesson I'm getting from this is that we need to help people around us. Um, I kept on asking myself, could it be that he died of hunger? But I, I don't know, but could it be that maybe he had an heart attack and there was nobody there at that point in time? Or maybe that's just destiny or anything but at the second uh, lesson i want us to all learn from this is that please check on people around you i know everybody's going through one thing or the other but i keep saying it please give people listening ears. i was just imagining that okay what if i didn't do the little i did for him when he asked me last week by today i would I, I would be blaming myself even though i still feel sad like oh maybe i could have done more than what i did for him last week but you know we didn't know that it was going to go very soon we nobody knew so i i'm i'm still kind of feeling very bad about it and all that but then i was just telling myself well i did the little i could do at that particular point in time i would have been so miserable if uh, maybe i neglected him or i shunned him off when he asked me but then i did the little i could at that time it's just pain it's just paining me that maybe i should have done more but you know but at least i did when he asked so this the lesson i want us to all to learn is please Anytime you have the capacity to help people around you, please do so because you don't know you don't know what will happen next. We don't pray for death, we don't pray for um, a sickness, but please, if you are in any position to help people around you, kindly do so, please. God will continue to bless each and every one of us because as 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 at today, after the incident happened. Uh, the landlords association in the estate started contributing money. I saw the list. People started bringing out money. The one that baffled me was a couple that donated a hundred k for that man uh, for his uh, the, the funeral. I thought to myself, I said, Oh, if only this man had this hundred thousand as at that last week, maybe would have uh, flexed. Maybe would have enjoyed his um, last days on earth. Because now people are contributing for him. I am not saying that um, nobody has been helping him. That's not what I'm saying. Because the man, I, I am not even sure he's doing anything. I think he just lives on, um, you know, stipends that he gets from people here and there. Um, there's no excuse to be lazy. His hands were still uh, complete. He had an um, injury on one of his legs, which I heard was due to an accident he had uh, because he was drunk one long time ago. I don't know the story, but that was how I got to know. That was how I knew the man. I knew him uh, right from time as um, 
um, physically challenged person but you know I was just thinking to myself that okay all this money that people are contributing and what if he had had this kind of money last week he would have enjoyed himself he would have flexed he would have eaten at least to satisfaction and all that so please I know the country is hard, everybody's going through one thing or the other, even people that you, okay, like uh, last week I was telling my friend, one of my friends was saying uh, she, uh, she needed money, they asked a family member and the family said they don't have or something and I, uh, she said that she knows they have. I said, well, you might think they have because they 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 doing i think they they asked the two uh, members of the family who are residing abroad and they both declined for them i said you might think they have but at that point in time they may not even have it so uh but she was i know that she's very sure that they have i said well the, the fact that people live abroad does not mean that they are always uh, financially stable at every time and then uh, the thing is the higher you go the more your uh, responsibilities the more um, your what you need money for so I was trying to just uh, talk her out of it so that she won't have old grudges against um, the people they hacks from from the people they hacks uh, for financial help from and they declined for them so I was just trying to you know bring her out of that or oh, they didn't want to give us or something something like that I said well they may not have at that particular point but that's not even uh, what I'm trying to say what I'm why I mentioned that is because I am just saying that I know everybody has um, one responsibility or the other. There's nobody that has money that maybe it's just lying far loaded. They don't know what to do with it. So you get so everybody has what they want to do with every penny that is with them. So, but what I'm trying to say is that please, no matter how little it is, you no know, try and help people out. Try and lend a helping hand to people because the person you see today, God forbid, what if you're not saying to the person tomorrow? Tomorrow is not promised, but we can only rely on God that it will keep us in good health, it will give us sound mind, and it will help us. He said with long life will it satisfy us. Yes, that is the 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 the, the assurance that we have that we have everything that we need in Christ Jesus. So please let's reflect on this. May God be with us all. Please don't forget to like this video, share if you know one or two people it might be of help to, and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for joining once again. Bye.